electric current. We use many devices like geysers, refrigerators, air conditioners, fans, electric bulbs, computers and televisions around us, which need electricity to function. We cannot imagine our life without electricity. Actually, electricity provides us a form of energy called electrical energy. Conductors and insulators. Electricity, electric current, flows when there is a source of current, like a dry cell or a battery, and a closed part or circuit. Materials that allow electricity to flow through them easily are called conductors. All the metals are good conductors of electricity. Graphite is the only non-metal which is a good conductor of electricity. Materials that do not allow electricity to flow through them easily are called insulators. Rubber, plastic, wood and glass are all insulators. Insulators are used to protect us from the dangerous effects of electricity. The plastic coating that you see on tools used by electricians is an insulating material. In class 6, we made an electric tester to test whether a particular material is a conductor or an insulator. An electric tester consists of an electric cell, a torch bulb fitted in a holder and some connecting copper wires. Checking an electric tester. You need to check the electric tester before you conduct any activity or experiment. Join the free ends of the tester together for a moment. This completes the circuit of the tester and the bulb glows. However, if the bulb does not glow, it means that the tester is not working. The possible reasons are Reason 1. Connections are loose. Check that all the connections are tight. Reason 2. The bulb is fused. Replace the bulb with a new bulb. Reason 3. The cell is used up. Replace the cell with a new one. Note, while checking your tester, do not join its free ends for more than a few seconds to prevent the cell of the battery to drain very quickly. Modifications in electric tester The bulb glows when the electric current passes through an electric tester due to the heating effect of current. When the current passes through the bulb due to the heating effect of current, the filament of the bulb gets heated to a high temperature and it starts glowing. However, if the current through a circuit is too weak, the filament does not get heated sufficiently and it does not glow. So, we may use an LED in place of the electric bulb in the tester. An LED means a light emitting diode. It is similar to a bulb but it runs on very low voltages. LED glows even when a weak electric current flows through it. The coloured lights that you see in retail stores, stages, bridges and even in the keypads of mobile phones are all LEDs. Electrical conductivity Electrical conductivity is a measure of the ability of a substance to carry electric current. Substances that are good conductors of electricity have high electrical conductivity as compared to substances that are poor electrical conductors, also called insulators. Many liquids can conduct electricity. Classification of liquids as good conductors and bad conductors. We have learnt about electric tester. Let us perform the following activities to find the electrical conductivity amongst the liquids. Terms commonly used in describing chemical effects of current. Ions. When an atom loses or gains electron, electrons, it forms ion, ions. Electrically charged atoms or group of atoms are called ions. There are two types of ions, cations and anions. Cations, when an atom loses electron, electrons, it becomes positively charged ion. Positively charged ions are called cations. Anions, when an atom gains electron, electrons, it becomes negatively charged ion. Negatively charged ions are called anions. Electrolytes. Chemical compounds whose molecules ionize separate into positively and negatively charged ions in a solution are called electrolytes. So, electrolytes are chemical compounds 
which conduct electricity when dissolved in water or in molten state. An electrolyte produces ions when it dissolves in water. For example, when sodium chloride, common salt, is dissolved in water, it produces sodium ions, cations, and chloride ions, anions. The solution of sodium chloride in water is called aqueous solution of common salt. Non-electrolytes Some compounds, such as glucose and alcohol, dissolve in water, but do not form ions. All such solutions that do not form ions cannot conduct electricity. Such compounds are called non-electrolytes. Electrolysis The decomposition of an electrolyte by passing an electric current through it is called electrolysis. Electrodes The metal rods or plates through which current enters or leaves the electrolytes are called electrodes. They are of two kinds. Cathode, the electrode connected to the negative terminal of a cell battery is called cathode. During electrolysis, the positively charged ions, cations, present in the electrolyte move towards the cathode. Anode, the electrode connected to the positive terminal of a cell battery is called anode. During electrolysis, the negatively charged ions, anions, present in the electrolyte, move towards the anode. Voltameter or electrolytic cell A glass or plastic container containing two electrodes and the electrolyte is called voltameter or electrolytic cell. In a voltameter, the process of electrolysis is carried out. Effects of electric current An electric current can reproduce three effects. Heating effect, magnetic effect, chemical effect. When an electric current is passed through an electrolyte, the chemical reactions take place. This is called the chemical effect of electric current. Uses of electrolysis Extraction of metals from their ores Electrolysis is used in the extraction of metals from their ores. For example, when a current is passed through molten sodium chloride, Sodium is deposited at the cathode and chlorine gas is evolved at the anode. Aluminium and potassium are also extracted from their ores by electrolysis. Manufacture of chemicals. Electrolysis is used for the manufacture of chemicals which are used in industries in large quantities. Manufacture of oxygen gas, chlorine gas and hydrogen gas is done by electrolysis. Refining of metals. Electrolytic refining. electrolytic refining means refining purification by electrolysis. Electrolytic refining is the most important and most widely used method for refining metals. Many metals like copper, zinc, tin, silver, gold and nickel are refined by this method. Electroplating The method of coating the metal surface of a given article with a thin layer of superior metal with the help of electric current is called electroplating. When copper sulphate is dissolved in water, it forms positively charged copper ions and negatively charged sulphate ions. When electric current is passed through the acidified copper sulphate solution. Uses of electroplating. Electroplating is done for various purposes. Here are a few examples. Decoration. Metals used for making jewellery like Gold and silver are very expensive. The artificial jewellery made from less expensive metals is electroplated with expensive metals like gold and silver to give expensive look. Protection Iron objects are electroplated with chromium or nickel or zinc to protect them from rusting. This is because chromium, nickel and zinc are less reactive metals which do not corrode easily.